and I became the first tetraplegic to virtually summit Everest on my stairs at home. Um, so quite literally, I virtually summited Everest. I took on the mountain, the biggest mountain, but I didn't get to the top in one go. I had to take 46 and a half thousand individual steps. Mm -hmm. um, that was just the up steps. So I had to come down again, obviously in between. But um, <laughs> so over three and a half days, I was able to take on a challenge which was ridiculously large in scale, quite improbable in many ways, but not impossible if I was able to take that next step. So all I did through the course of that process, and it's tedious and boring, but all I did was go, okay, one more step, one more step, one more step. And I just kept going. And whenever it got tough, I just focused on that next step. Um, and so my, when I talk about challenge and goal setting now, I talk about setting bold, ambitious goals. You need a direction, but setting very achievable goals. Uh, in the meantime so that you can celebrate each win like it's like it's Christmas day every step you take um, mm -hmm. and that way you find that collectively incrementally those goals add up and they become the big goal so you almost achieve it without noticing by the end of it well it's like um, when I want 